Hey there, my name's Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get virtual sound check working on your Behringer X32 or Midas M32 with Logic Pro. If you're brand new to my channel, I am all about making you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I have my Behringer X32 here, and it has the X Live expansion card. This is going to be the same process with the XUSB, XUF, and X Live card getting this into Logic Pro. The first thing you need is a USB cable with a USB-B end on it, and whatever end you need to plug in your computer with, either a USB-C or a USB-A. So this is the cable that I have right now. Go ahead and plug this cable into the USB 2.0 port on your card, and then plug the other side into your computer. Now that we have the USB connected into our computer, there's a couple settings that we need to set on the actual X32. Hit the Setup button and page all the way over until we get to Card. Now on the X Live, we have to press layer down on one. If you have the X USB or X UF, you're going to find this menu without pressing the layer down. We need to make sure that our card is set up to a 32 in, 32 out. This is going to allow us to have 32 channels coming in from this card and 32 channels coming out from this card. Once we have that set, press routing, and we need to copy what we have in our input block on our card block. You'll notice that I have local selected here, but on my inputs, I'm actually pulling them from AES50B 1 through 32. So I'm going to copy that over onto my card. So AES50B. One through 32. Next, let's move over to our computer that we have Logic Pro installed on. So we've opened up Logic Pro, and I'm going to select this arrow down to get into my details so that we can set where we have our input and output device coming from. Currently, I have this set to my MacBook Pro, but we want to select X Live, X USB, or X UF, depending on which expansion card you have on the X32. Once we have that set, we can open an empty project. So press Choose. Once you see this screen, we are going to type in 32 down here, because we want to record 32 tracks. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that this is on input one and audio is on output one, which we will find an output mono output one. Once we have that, we want to check ascending on both the audio input and the output. And then another tip is to go ahead and hit record enable right here. What this is gonna do is this is going to open up 32 tracks and set channel one to be input one with an output of output one. And then channel two is going to be input two with an output of output two. Press for create. And then we can see that we have audio meters already showing on this. The next thing I would suggest is going to file and then save as template. And we're just gonna title this X32 template. Once we are ready, we can go ahead and press record. Now I always suggest recording any rehearsals or services or events that you have. That way you can either take those tracks and practice with them later before that event starts or take it after the event and critique how your mix was actually in the room after the event, after people have left. This is also a very useful tool for training any new volunteers or any new staff that you have coming on board. Once a band is done playing, we can go ahead and hit stop. And then we want to select audio one and hold down the shift key and click on audio 32. And then we will press the R button. This will turn off record enable. Next thing you'll wanna do is go back to the beginning of your project. To set up our audio playing back from Logic Pro into the X32, we're gonna to go to routing, input, and then on our sixth rotary knob, we're gonna rotate this to play. And then once we do that, we're going to press the button down. And at this point, we need to make sure that it is selected on card one through 32. That way our audio from Logic Pro will play back into the X32. Now one side note is if you do have the X Live card and you're wanting to play from your computer, there's one more step that you'll need to do. You won't need to do this if you have the XUF or the X USB card. Simply press setup, page over to card, 
go one layer down, and we need to select the playback config to come from the USB interface. Once we have that selected, we're ready to play. So we can go over to Logic Pro, and we can just press play, and then we'll see that all of our tracks now have audio playing here. Now the great thing with the way that the X32 and the M32 record their audio into Logic Pro using our expansion cards is it is all pre-processing. So that means that any EQ adjustments, dynamics, gate, inserts, all of that does not affect the audio that's being recorded on Logic Pro. Now the benefit of this is that when we play our Logic Pro audio back into the X32, it's as if the band is up on stage playing. So now you can tweak any of your EQ settings, dynamics, compression settings, as if the band was live on stage. Now the only thing that won't save from when you're doing a virtual sound check to when you flip back to being from the stage is our gain. So if you do make any gain adjustments, you'll need to just jot that down on a notepad so that when you switch your console back to being on the stage, you can apply any of those gain adjustments that you felt you needed to. Once we're finished with our virtual sound check and we want to switch our board back to being from the stage, all we have to do is press routing, tab over to input, on our sixth rotary knob, rotate this to say record, and then we're just going to press this. And then we can see that we're flipped back to our stage inputs that we had before. So that brings me to the conclusion of this video. If you do happen to have any questions about this video or anything else on the X32, go ahead and post them in the comment section below as I'm always looking through those comment sections for other questions that you guys have that I should be making videos on in the future. If you haven't checked out my website at drewbrashler.com, please do, or please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.